Hi guys, today I'm going to kick off a new series here on Miss Budgie Beauty and it's going to be quick fire reviews. I was inspired by Emily Noel who's beauty broadcast here on YouTube. Um, she started a brand new channel of express reviews and I thought it was such a great idea and so I might do something similar um, for you guys from me. Um, I thought I would do just kind of two or three minute reviews and you know that that's probably going to mean seven minutes from me. Um, but just quick reviews of stuff that normally would only make it to a review on the blog. So for example this is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Tint um, fresh feel foundation and I have already reviewed, reviewed this on my blog but I've had so many requests in the comments of my recent videos to do a review for you guys on my YouTube channel so rather than a full um, kind of day test like I normally do I decided to wear it for a few weeks see how I felt and then do a review this is the actual product you get 20 mil of product I believe let me just double check yes definitely 20 mil now that's a little bit small for a foundation in my opinion usually it's kind of more 30 mil and the price is going to be 9.99 um, and just how you have to use it you do have to use quite a lot of the product to get anything in the way of coverage and so you'll probably end up using more of this than you would your regular foundation and maybe because it's not as thick it works out the same I don't know but just something to know is that it is slightly less uh, for a similar kind of price point for L'Oreal. It is actually um, an introductory offer at the moment in Boots, I think you can get it for $6.99. First of all, it's a very, very liquidy foundation, which means it can be quite messy upon application. You have to really shake it up, or it will just be very liquidy and watery when it comes out. You won't have any foundation mixed in with it, so you have to give it a real good shake before you tip it onto your finger, apply it to your face, or onto the back of your hand, but it's really the only way that I've found that I can apply it is on like with my finger, like I would do with my colour stay to be fair, but I think if you tipped it onto the back of your hand it would just run off. Uh, I think that would be a bit of an issue. It is a very, very light coverage. It's buildable, but you're not going to get anywhere near high. You might be able to get somewhere near medium, but to be quite honest, I think you're going to stick with light. You can see everything through the foundation in my opinion, and in my experience using it, it's very translucent. You can see kind of any redness, any freckles, anything. It's for a good skin day for sure. So it's not going to be for everyone just because it doesn't offer a lot of coverage, but it feels so nice on the skin. It has silicones in it, which means it's really smooth. Lots of people have described that as greasy feeling, which it kind of is. I mean, it feels oily, but so do silicones when they, they kind of, they don't rub in, do they? You, you just keep feeling them in your fingers and it does kind of feel a little bit oily, but it's not oil, it is silicones and they are kind of perfecting your skin. So you do get that kind of airbrushed look when you've applied it. And you do just need a very, very small amount to get that. Oh, everything looks a little bit more diffused and nicer. If you do just put a light covering on, everything does just look a little bit nicer, a little bit more natural, uh, which is what this is for. I mean, it does say fresh feel foundation, weightless, bare perfection. And that, for me, is exactly what it does. It doesn't actually tell you that it's going to do anything else. It's just a tint of something. And it does magically make your skin appear nicer but still natural. So if you are someone that perhaps doesn't wear foundation all the time, then this might be for you. My main concerns is that it's not gonna be for all skin types. Very, very dry skins, this will settle into any dryness. Um, if you do have a lot of fine lines or wrinkles, it's gonna settle into those as well. I found around my eyes, under my eyes, any dry patch that I have, it does kind of tend to make them look a little bit worse. Uh, if you've got very, very oily skin, then it has no oil control whatsoever. And by maybe midday, if not a couple of hours after applying the foundation, you're gonna be quite shiny. So this is more for normal to a little bit dry, I would say. I've got oily combination skin. It kind of can be quite normal some days. Some days this is fantastic. I'm wearing it right now and I really, really like it. It, it feels and looks really nice on my skin, but then a couple of hours later and I need to be really vigilant with powder. I wouldn't wanna wear this to work and I have, but I wouldn't want to wear it again to work where I could go hours and hours and hours looking seriously oily before I notice when I pop to the bathroom and check. Um, so this is more perhaps for me for kind of a filming kind of foundation. Very, very natural. I might put it on if I was vlogging during the day and I didn't want to not put any foundation on. Um, but I wouldn't wear it to any kind of special event or for a particularly long period of time because it's not very long wearing on my skin. But as I say, I don't think that I'm the perfect skin type for this because I think it is more for normal airing on the side of dry. But then super dry skins, I don't think it's going to be suitable for either. So it's a little bit tricky. I really want to love this because it feels so lovely on my skin and it just makes everything look a little bit nicer. Um, and it also feels like it says weightless, but it's just not for me. It's not something that I'm going to be wearing all the time and it's not something I can recommend kind of to the masses. I would recommend that you go and try it. I mean, in the UK we can test products. I know um, in other countries you can't necessarily, but if you can get your hands on it, just to test it, it feels so unique and different. I would definitely go and try it out and someone is calling me right now. Um, but that is probably marking the end of the video anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Like I say, I do have 
further information on my blog below so if you want any more information and pictures and stuff like that then you can find it there but let me know what you think of this format and I will be having more reviews like this in the next couple of weeks. Bye!